course. I'm super excited. I mean, this is. Um, I mean, it's had such a great life. It's it's got such a great following, and and kind of one of those things that you step into not knowing the the fandom of it. So I mean, yeah, I'm I'm stoked. The production design on this film was just incredible. I mean, when I was on set, I was in awe of what they had built, and and the way that we achieved some of the stunts was um, pretty frightening even on the day but but also a lot of fun so I don't know I think there's going to be a ton of different traps for the audience to enjoy and get freaked out by. With this film that well there's a lot of traps in this film but I think we've got a variety of traps I mean one we've got the we've got the sort of the big over the top type of traps but then we've also got the very simplistic kind of um, uh, more back to the original type of traps as well so it's a real mixed bag of crazy and small. My wife said, oh yeah, it was like every Halloween for that weekend was like, oh, we're seeing Saw. So that's a, that's a really exciting thing to be part of. Whenever you have a chance to develop a character over seven films, uh, it's a great thing. And, and he's an interesting guy. He's a, a bit of a philosopher, a little bit of a theologian. Uh, He's a trained mechanical engineer, he's an architect, uh, so he has a breadth of, of uh, interests and perspectives, as you well know. It's just so twisted and uh, it's really maniacal and I think that's why it's so scary because it's not just random killing, it's so so carefully planned out, it's, it's really, really creepy and disturbing, in a good way.